What's up, y'all? It's your Lena back at it again once again, time, time again. You already know it's your girl. I am back with another video. You, are. I am back with another lock video. I am going to be giving you guys a lock Q and A. If you guys are interested in learning about my babies, then go ahead and stay tuned. Make sure you guys go ahead and click that subscribe button. First question is, what made you? get locks the first thing that i think really impacted my decision to get locked was my mom had them my aunt had them i love the way they look once i finally did take the, the plunge to get them this was this is my fourth set but when i finally decided to get them i felt weird without them when i didn't have them just don't feel like myself without locks next question is how many locks do i have to be honest i don't really know the exact number i think it's somewhere close to 100 it, it's between 90 and 100 i think it's closer to 100 i do not know the exact number third question is how did i start my lock originally i started my locks with the instant locking method some of you know that i am in the military and i cannot have my hair looking any kind of way it just can't be i just like for my hair to be presentable especially when i'm in front of a certain group that would question my hair otherwise or if it was in regulation i instant lock my hair that way that i would have the in the lock look but not necessarily fully locked hair. It looked like they were locked. Fourth question is, what type of styles did I use when I first started my lock? When I first started, I pretty much kept them in like twists or I had, um, cause mind you, I had instant locks so I could manipulate them a little bit more than you'll be able to if you had like the comb coils. Two strand twists, you can manipulate them a little bit more than comb coils. I had free range to pretty much do what I wanted to do. I kept them in like twists if I were retwist it or I put them in like break like the lobster tail braids if they weren't in those styles then i would keep them in a bun during the day because i would be at work but other than that those were like my main go-to styles and the last question is is how do i get my locks curly so now that my locks are a little bit longer and i really don't mind having them at least like to my shoulder length i keep them in twists like i did when i first started my lock so i do not use any other style when it comes to doing my lock when i retwist i always put them in two strands with I never have just one style in my lock say for instance I was to retwist right and I put like I retwisted them and then I just braided them I wouldn't do that I would probably retwist twist them together in the two strands twist, and then I would put whatever style in that I wanted I would not do the initial the second style first just because I do like for my locks to be curly. Since they are curly at the end, I do have goddess locks, if you guys did not know. The only lock that I have that is locked is this one. This one is completely locked. It's not like the rest of them, as you can see. They have um, the curly end. Um, here's like a little bit, this is a better one. That's literally the only lock that I have that's straight or that's locked. Those are my babies. If you guys have any questions, please do not hesitate to ask me. I'm always open to answering questions for you guys. I really do appreciate every single one of you that watch my channel day in and out. If you guys would like to subscribe, go ahead and click that subscribe button. I would love to have you in the AC family, have you guys join your girl. Thank you guys again for watching and I'm gonna catch you in the next video.